Kiki, this one a coke, Gaik to Pamir Kitopi, a nam nars, Nitzing Kaka, Nitzing Kas, and Gaik to Pamir Kitopi, Nidom two two six at Ka, Ki Nidom Titapi makes, Saix. Our old people tell us the stories of where we came from, how the first Blackfoot man and first Blackfoot woman was created was through the buffalo. You know, with our people, the Blackfoot, we protected this area because of the buffalo. When the herds would migrate back here into this part of North America, that's what kept our people healthy, strong, sustained our people. And how did they hunt the animal? Well, they were taught how to use the cliff. They were taught how to make these biscuits. And they were taught how to drive the animal over the cliff. The flood. We have major flooding happening at this hour in and around Calgary. From Camor to Coleman, communities are battling rising waters. In Calgary, it could be the biggest flood since 2005. So with newcomers, I think about how many areas they erased from our history when they were doing development such as breaking the land for field. Today we have development going on. What kind of evidence are they clearing away from my people? When we bring out our students to look at our uh, historical sites, ceremonial sites, buffalo jumps, and when we go around in Blackfoot country, when we look at these sites, teepee rings, effigies, having those teachings at that site, it has more of a powerful experience. The stories that are related to these sites are right there. And at one point in time, our ancestors were walking on that same area as we're sitting, chasing the buffalo over the, the cliff. It possibly could have been my grandparents that created these significant sites and their songs associated with them as well. We're still singing these songs today.